But I just want to say, I love your guys' logo. I see it behind you. The two oh, little you. eyes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> thank you. Keith made it. Nice. Uncle Keith. <laughs> Uncle Keith. Um, how was the wedding, by the way? Oh, it was great. It was, I mean, a little chaotic on the day. But oh, sure. <laughs> it was cool. Mick, Mick actually helped because it, uh, I did a, I wrote a song and like recorded it. And then my wife, you know, my wife is, uh, she, she sang over it and we used that in the ceremony. And, yeah. I, Keith I, called me I, at like 12 o'clock the day of his wedding and was like, I need you to do me a big favor. <laughs> like, okay, I need you to meet us, meet up with us and get the PA stuff and go there and set it up ahead of time. And <laughs> <laughs> it's like it, it all worked. Not that I would have to have a PA to play this song. <laughs> <laughs> no, it worked out good. It was a really good wedding. Ah, awesome. Was it um, outdoors or indoors? It was outdoors. Lovely. Very nice. Um, okay. So I just wanted to get a little bit of background. Um, so, yeah, Keith, I, I think you had told me you went to school for this kind of thing that your company does it's, yeah i went to berkeley college of music and i majored in uh film scoring so it's not quite the same thing as doing like sync licensing it's more like composing custom music for for use in uh, films and tv and video games and that kind of thing yeah oh, neat that's cool have you ever done any any uh video game music I have, well, I've never done like an actual video game, but I mean, in, in school we did projects where we did use software to sync it up with some video game footage and stuff like that. Neat. Did you guys ever see that um, Netflix show about video, like, um, not the movies that made us, but like the history of video games? Oh, high score? High score. Yeah, I started to watch that, but I never finished it. It was cool. There was one about the guy who did the soundtrack for Mario, I think. Yeah, I actually almost, I uh, he came to our school to to do like an interview. Oh, wow. And, uh, I couldn't get off of work to go meet him. Bummer. <laughs> <laughs> almost got to meet You were so close. <laughs> Neat. Okay, so you went to Berkeley. Uh, Berkeley with two E's. I always think it should have yeah. three Y's. Not, not the like, law school in California. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, so that's that's pretty cool. Um, And then uh, McGoldrick. Yeah, how about you? Did you go to Berkeley? What'd you do? <laughs> <laughs> I supported Keith while he was at Berkeley. But uh, nice. <laughs> no, <laughs> I played, started playing when I was 16, kind of joined the Filthy 42s, did a whole bunch of playing on the road and stuff. And then I went to a community college for probably about like a year doing some kind of music program they had there. Uh, but a lot of it was just kind of recording by myself mm. for a while until I met Keith. And then it, it worked out because it was like everything I had recorded, it, it, it's been good because we've we've had a stash of stuff to work off of, um, yeah. especially for Mick the Mongoose. Mm -hmm. But Keith, Keith has been teaching me a lot. It's been a great experience to try to actually learn. Like it's one thing to record. It's one thing to like know what you're doing when you're recording, or to even try it in touch production is like a whole nother thing. Um, yeah, he recorded a bunch for the Filthy Forty Twos. Stuff that didn't end up getting released, but like, kind of after that uh, EP too. So I think he cut your teeth in recording a lot there too. Gotcha. Okay, so let's do a little bit of like timelining. So did you were you guys in the Filthy Forty Twos at the same time? Or did you overlap? I can't remember how it worked out. No, Mick joined after I quit. <laughs> I was I was sloppy second. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was in another band at the time and it was kind of like the Filthy 42s was really cool because I was in it with you know my brother and the other two brothers but I had another music project that was kind of taken off a little bit and that was more like where I was doing 
most of the songwriting when I was the front man. So I kind of had to step back from the 442s to work on that. And then Mick stepped in. <laughs> okay. And then when did like Mick the Mongoose, when did that kind of? Well, I guess when uh, he, I think, it, I don't know when he graduated from Berkeley, but it was after that point and he was heading back to New Jersey. He, he was moving back. So, uh, yeah, I think our, the original version of You Glow, I reached out to him with, um, trying to record it for my girlfriend uh, for like a Christmas gift. So yeah, th that was kind of like the first time we really got to work together. He killed it. It was like, <laughs> I, I, I don't know how to describe it. I sent him one version, it came back. It was like a whole orchestra like mm. violins and like this whole like <laughs> symphony and stuff and I was like whoa <laughs> um he, he he just made it like pretty much anything I've done he's brought it to life he knows just how to make it work and from then we kind of moved on to Mick the Mongoose and then from there uh made it work so I I don't know I probably like three years or so ago three or four maybe. so it sounds yeah. like you were kind of the first client of YY Productions. <laughs> yeah. The precursor. The yeah. <laughs> so um, for any potential customers out there and they have something they want your help on, how how do they find you? How do they reach out to you and send you their stuff? Uh, they can do it, you know, either through Facebook Messenger or Instagram, or they can go to our website which is just yyproductions.com. And there's like a form that they can fill out with some more detailed information about what they're looking to do. Okay, perfect. Nice and simple. I guess um, I'm curious about the the name YY Productions. That's, uh, you know, I, that it's, it's got a nice ring to it. It's, it's cool sounding, but it's, um, well, I guess a, a fun way of, of asking that, why 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 production? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I like that. <laughs> I'll, I'll let Mick handle this. I think he had a pretty, pretty good joke for it earlier. <laughs> oh, I do? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know what the joke is, but it's funny because I always say that. Why? Why, why, why? <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, for us, we kind of came from engineering background. We both work in the solar industry and uh, involved in like electrical engineering and everything. So why, right. why is like a uh, term for the type of transformer for, uh, yeah, I, I don't know exactly where <laughs> it would be used, but <laughs> mm -hmm. depending on where you're at or the residential commercial, there's different types of transformer configurations, how the, the windings are it's too much detail but uh yeah so pretty much we just played on that even before this we were trying to kind of play on like a record label trying to figure out where we should fit best as a company mm -hmm. so even with that we were going for delta high leg which is another type so we kind of stuck with the whole electrical engineering type term um <laughs> and it's fun to say like i told keith it's I think it rolls off the tongue. Why, why? Why, why? <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. It's easy. So, like there's sometimes there's names that are hard to remember, even if you try really hard. And so that this is not one of them. This is a very easy name to remember. So it's it's good. <laughs> I guess the spelling is where it will trip people up. Be like, oh, why, why? <laughs> w Y E W Y E. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's, but it's still, you know, it's it's unique though. Yeah. It's cool. So yeah. Yeah. And is that what your logo is? Is it two transformers shooting electricity at each other or whatever? I mean, there would be the two windings of one single transformer, I suppose. Gotcha. <laughs> Very nerdy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nerdy. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> um Okay. Uh, oh yeah. One last question. Where, where are you guys physically located in the country? I can't remember. New Jersey. So uh, like South Jersey, kind of close to, closer to Philadelphia than, than New York. Okay. Gotcha. All right. 
Well, that's and like all I of... told Josh yeah. for the recording. Hold on, one more. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One of my favorite shirts. <laughs> that's <laughs> definitely old school. That's like mid two thousands. <laughs> um, yeah, maybe like exactly mid like that. Maybe seven, six or seven. Maybe six. <laughs> Maybe even five. I can't remember. <laughs> it's a long time I, ago. I'm pretty sure I traded Justin like a Filthy 42's t-shirt or something for it. Oh, uh, nice. Hey. <laughs> you better still have his. We should, let's get him on. Let's, let's his zoom. <laughs> <laughs> you better not have thrown it away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> uh, that's, uh, that's awesome. I know that it's some kind of like Irish stick fighting. It's like, so... That like that's like what that what they're doing in that shirt, and it's some it's just really cool and rad looking. So <laughs> always remind me of Clockwork Orange for some reason. Oh yeah, <laughs> like the which is not a good comparison at all. <laughs> it's not Clockwork Orange. Yeah. I mean it's really disturbing movies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh yeah it's I can see it though. It's it's definitely you know it's Halloween. This like you know it's October so. You you might see some Clocker Orange outfits out there right now. So. <laughs> yeah, true. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, dudes. Well, that, this was great. This gives me a lot to work with, and um, yeah, you guys have a cool a cool thing. I mean, I feel like we might want to use your service at some point. Yeah, and I'll I'll, I'll be talking to Flatfoot. They might be interested in some sync licensing, uh, possibly, and you know, and yeah, us and I'm like I'm sure. It's a huge market for that and you know so that's really cool yeah. i get I, I don't know is there anything you guys oh, yeah. want to say before anastasia is we're pretty much done mm -hmm. with questions but yeah you should have the floor if you would like yeah. <laughs> just want to say thanks for talking with us you cool people yeah yeah likewise thank you for your time and doing this and uh yeah i hope we do get to work more in the future because we love your stuff and got the still working on something for the almighty christmas comp yes. for from nick the mongers so awesome. get that to you soon excellent awesome excellent. yeah we um we have a live event uh coming up in november which if you guys happen to be anywhere near chicago you'd be most welcome to join um but yeah, I want to be able to distribute like physical copies of the of this year's compilation at that event. So that's what yeah. I'm working towards. Um, but yeah. When is that? It'll be November 19th. So it's like the perfect, like right before Thanksgiving, just get it in there for the holidays. Cool. But, um, you guys gotten any more submissions? We, I actually um, just went ahead and contacted people by methods other than email. <laughs> um, it, <laughs> it's funny how everyone has their own um, their own digital communication recipe, and you just have to kind of learn everybody's unique one and reach out to them <laughs> that way. Good point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like some people Instagram message, some Facebook, some people mm. Discord is, a, you know, going to be a thing. Yeah. Yep. I'm usually good with email, but sometimes when I email people, I don't hear back for weeks. You know? Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely my preferred thing for like reaching out to many people all at once. But mm -hmm. if I want a quick response, I have to kind of do the footwork of using the other methods that are out there. <laughs> there you're at. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, cool. Thank you guys. This is awesome. <laughs> well, have a good cool. night. Thank Thanks. you very much. We will speak soon. Sure. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Awesome. Thank you. you for your time, guys. Yeah. You too.